hello welcome back to another video from small axe music productions um today i am pretty much excited um i wanted to do a video um on this bfd3 um a few weeks ago but i've been having problems with my um my memory and it's overloading and a lot of issues so um, the guys at, at, at F expansion is um, trying to sort me out as we speak but yeah and before I even go any further I send enough respect and, 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 and I really appreciate the effort this guy his name is Alex from um, F, F expansion right um, he's been very patient with me and he's been trying to help me out um, but you know, I've been having is this program BFD by the way is is the best. I would doubt I doubt BFD three. Uh, you could even compare BFD two with all the other um, drum VSTs out there, and, and it will top all of them. No question about it. I have addictive drums. I had few others. I have Logics. I ha I had a chance to go with Studio Drummer and, and a few more, right? and trust me tune tracks uh, is, is good superior drummer and all of that but bfd is the best overall right let me let's see i have it here and you guys um heard me complain about addictive drums for the longest while bfd is 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 the top i'm not even going to go in the elements right now what right about now i have been still only problem is i haven't found much videos um tutorials of, of getting around this thing so i decided on making a video for them to in the mapping section of, of this because it's kind of complicated and it's not a, a run to to just go and manipulate it so i'm i i've been struggling i i i look for videos i couldn't find anything how to map this thing but i f play around and i i i, I figured it out but it's very complicated so um, that's a downside on it but you know but this thing worth every penny and i'm very happy to have this thing in front of me right my people always ask me how my i got my drums to to sound um this good for my reggae beats and so forth and i me myself wasn't pleased of what i was hearing but now this thing is super um it's it's i i'm I can't wait that's the, 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 the thing I can't wait to have the full um, use of it right right anyway it's just a beautiful thing as you can see right but the key mapping is a problem all right I had to go if you want let me just go all the way if here if you need to have um, if you have like a MIDI keyboard or a drum pad or something you could ha they have presets inside of it that you could go and select it and it would just go right ahead and match the the, 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 the mapping that you already have for unfortunately for me i didn't have that um, um flexibility right uh, my mapping was totally different um so um when i went in the here key mapping all you have to do is select key map here and go into i'm sorry my bad right into load presets or key map load key map right you see all the presets here right so all you have to do is is go in and 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 and, and see what works for you so i would select that one there right and you see all oh, see this is a two box drum drum it five addictive drums uh, Akai MPD24 Alesis control pad um, Alesis D DM5 so you have a, quite a few of them you have even the settings for BFD2 and BFD Lite here um, BFD Eco all right this is BFD3 standard um, you have Easy Drummer General MIDI um, the closest one I found to my mapping was a roll and one of these roll and pad control I think this what this is roll and TD10 but it still didn't match my mapping right so for you guys who have those devices you could go in and select the presets here and your 
up and running. But for me, I had to do this the manual way. At least I started from the the the, the Roland thing, um, Roland thing I showed you there earlier, right? And then I, I I did the rest manually, right? So that was a fair start anyway. But anyway, let's move over to the manual side of it. All right. So I'm I'm into um, key map mapping already, right? If you want to to add these elements here to your your liking or to your preference all you have to do is come over here that right you could right click on any of these F for example i needed my 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 first height term to be on the c and on, on a c here all right as you can see the light blue represents the c that i'm hitting here which is c2 Right? And I'm using a Yamaha Mo X88, right? So, um, sorry, a Yamaha Mo 88, Mo888, right? So, this one here, it has another um, term on it. So, what I would do, I would just go in here and I would cut, cut it out, I take it out, then I would select here and I would go to hit or whatever um, articulation you, you need. I would go over here, right, and I would click hit and I would drag it and I would put it over here on the key. My bad. See, it's reading on the C now. Alright? So and likewise this one you would I would want this one um on the B. So what I would do, what hit the B, see it's it highlighted, um then I would um slick select the hit over here and i will drag it onto it right okay let me see uh, maybe i have something wrong uh, here hit okay all right that's it all right so it's there all right okay but this one One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't need one of these. Which of them? Okay, this one is here. So, okay, we're going to delete this one here. All right. clear drum this is how I delete this one and then I would remove channel after all right all right so we have five uh, four kits kit pieces there right and these channels here you can move them all right so I would go over here and move this thing I put this percussion piece over here so I have my my um, thing in, in ascending order all right so here we go This one, all right, all right. So they are all um, in sequence now, right? All right. So th there we go. All right. So it's pretty simple. And when you you are through, you could go and save um, the preset. You could go ahead and see the preset, all right? Save key plus, save key map. You could go ahead and save this one and name it your own kit piece, right? So it's pretty much um, easy to do. It's just that it's hard to find and there aren't any videos out there that show, show you how to do this thing. So. Um, I think this video will be the first video if there's not anybody in the pipeline doing anything right now, right? So it's pretty simple. I'm going to be doing um, a lot more videos on this at, um, BFD drum. Oh my God, it is so sweet. Listen, um, 
when when I th I thought I did a track for somebody in Florida um, um, yesterday, and my God, the drum was sounding pretty great, right? It was awesome. Um, then I thought that was it, right? <laughs> then i i went in and i started doing um running the track so to, to record it in pro tools and as i started um running the tracks through different um um tracks right to record it i realized i ha i could even have these three kick pieces here for three kicks and and run them and mix them pre-mix it and run it through and my god it was sounding even better than the drums that was there already and i haven't even mixed that that session as yet so it's it's just awesome i did my little tricks as i always do with any vst i wouldn't i do my little things things that i might wouldn't i wouldn't even tell anybody but these drums are killing trust me the hi-hats are perfect for reggae that was my downfall in in, in addictive drums I, I spoke to them about it they didn't do anything all they did was try to get our money and in bringing addictive drums too without any enhancement any new kit pieces or anything right and this thing have a lot of sounds in it the hi-hats and the crashes perfect for reggae the snares the kick the first thing when I did this session, a session here for a guy in Florida, the first thing he he he, he brought to my attention, and, and I did his first tracks with addictive drums. He didn't say anything about drums, but when I did the first track with BSD and I sent it to him, he, he, the first thing, he, oh my God, that kick is killing. I love the kick, you know, you know, so it, it, it already only two tracks I've done with this um, B, um, BFD and three and i mean just the first one and you know clients been telling me this kick is killing this is nice you know and and it hasn't even it, i haven't even mixed it it's just a the raw demo i sent to him so you know i'm expecting big things with this 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 drum vst and people who have been fooling around and looking for a good drum vst <laughs> look no further than, than than bfd3 trust me even if you can get a copy of the old one this bfd2 as a matter of fact i use bfd eco for several years and people been asking me from over all over europe america what am i using for my drum set which drummer <laughs> which drummer am i am i using you know the drum sounds so real in my reggae tracks right and it's bfd eco with with just some basic elements and i i hated bfd <laughs> eco right uh, but it was good i love it to an extent but i know there was more to it and finally i have it here so guys check it out right this thing worth every penny trust me so check out bfd all uh, right and if you have any trouble <laughs> i could refer you to alex this guy is, is super in, in dealing with um, customers so anyway um, I would like to see BFD do more video tutorials um, for the, uh, these programs so we could have easy access because I don't have the time to be running around I have work to do right I don't want to be searching around for things if we can just pop up a video and it's there that's the reason of making this video for people to see how easy it is to use BFD so anyway guys I'm out, enough respect, big up to all my fans and supporters of Small Axe Music Productions, alright, enough respect again, check my website www.smallaxmp.com, alright, axe as in cutting a tree, alright, boom, out of here again, alright.